The process of urine formation happens in three steps, namely filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. The fluid filtrated by the nephron is brought by the blood to the glomerulus. Every day, there are 180 liters of water filtrated by the glomerulus. This means that the fluid inside our body is filtered 30 times per day. Every time dirty blood passes the kidney, the blood comes out clean. The blood that enters the kidney is filtrated then comes out after a few hours. The glomerulus capillary is so easy to be passed by the water molecule and small solution. The blood pressure in the kidney is high, so the water goes into the glomerulus. The composition of filtration result which enter into the glomerulus are water, sodium chloride, bicarbonate ion, hydrogen ion, urea, glucose, amino acid, and medicine residue. The blue arrow is the flow of reabsorption, while the green one is the secretion. At the proximal tubule, there is a reabsorption of glucose, amino acid, sodium chloride, water, bicarbonate ion, and secretion of hydrogen ion and medicine residue. Then, the urine flow declines, following the vessel and gets in the loop of Henle, where there is reabsorption of water and sodium chloride. The reabsorption of sodium chloride, water, bicarbonate ion, and the secretion of potassium ion and hydrogen ion happen in the distal convoluted tubule. The distal tubule ends in the collecting duct. The collecting duct reabsorbs if the body lacks fluid and mineral. The result of reabsorption and filtration will be collected as urine.